Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've got another unboxing video for you and this time it is Eve's Parcel. So if you're new to Eve's Parcel, I'll just give you a quick lowdown about what it's all about. But if you've seen it all before, I will add a timestamp down below so you're free to flip forward. So Eve's Parcel is a period and beauty monthly subscription box. So it costs £12.99 a month plus £2.95 shipping. And inside you get a mix of beauty products, you get a sweet treat and you get a tea or a drink of some sorts and you get your sanitary protection as well. You get to choose what pads or tampons you want or you can have a mix online. You get three different dates that you can have the box sent out to you and you can cancel any time but if you fancy just getting the pamper section on its own they do offer it for £10 a box and then £2.95 on top so I was kindly sent this box to me they sent me an Eve's parcel a couple of months ago and they wondered if I'd like to unbox it on my channel again so here we go so this is the February's box so the subscription renews on the 21st of the month and you can also buy one-off boxes as well so everything related to this box and if I can find a discount off your first subscription if this is something you're interested in I'll seek that out and I'll link it down below so click on the show more and that will bring up my description and everything will be down there so let's open it up and see what we got so I chose pads so this is what it looks like so you've got a piece of card here and it's got all the information related to the contents inside this box so I'll refer to that as we go along but that's what the packaging looks like so I have had a look inside and I've decided from now on any box that is gifted to me I will open it up and I'll have a look so that I get a real feel for the box before I do an unboxing because essentially they are a review as well because a lot of the time I like my unboxings to be spontaneous I like you to see my actual thoughts even if I'm a little bit scatty or I'm jumbling my words if I'm excited about something but generally I like a surprise but I was thinking uh, it's not until afterwards that you get to really think about what the contents are like whether you'd use them the cost value and things like that so yeah from now on any box that is gifted to me I will be and um, I'd be having a look first so then I can hopefully give you a more in-depth review then of the product and not just me like ah oh, love it love it love it look look <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> so we've got some leaflets in here as well so we've got a little card it says Arctica and it's bath body and candles and that relates to something that's inside this box then we've got a little affirmation card now this is in you get this in every month and it just tells you affirmation of the month and this one is what others think of me is their choice what I think of myself is my choice absolutely agree and it just goes into more detail at the back there then we've got a yoga pose as well and we get this every month and this is the butterfly and then it tells you how to do it on the back there and these are the contents the smell is absolutely gorgeous coming from here so I'll just put this down to the side of me and then I'll pick an item up show you and refer to this card now even though they tell you what it is they don't tell you the cost so part of my unboxings I like to know roughly what things cost and then I try and look up online to see if I can get an idea of the actual value of the box and there's a couple of things in this box that I couldn't find online so I'll just go through it slowly and I'll show you I love these little bags they just remind me of old-fashioned sweet shop bags you know when you were little or when I was little <laughs> So in the first bag I've got seven day pads and in the second bag I've got seven day pads. So there's 14 day pads in all. And in the last bag we've got three night pads, these larger ones, and we've got three panty liners. Now remember from my unboxing last time, I really enjoyed the box. It was a Christmas one I think it was and it was all like smelled of ginger and things. It was lovely. But I remember thinking that there wasn't enough nighttime pads. I tend to have quite a long period, long as in definitely a week. <laughs> between six to eight days is my usual and yeah three night pads are not enough for me personally so that is something to bear in mind of you know what your period is like etc but um you've got 14 day pads so that is pretty good i like that i think a few more night pads wouldn't go amiss so those are those items anyway so onto the first item these are gorgeous it's lindor chocolate you've got a little mini box here really lovely gorgeous chocolates i think you've got about say four or five in there I've seen these in like Tesco's and that you can get them for like a pound I think it's just like little sample ones what how many's in there there's four that's what they look like they are gorgeous but I can't have them I'm dairy free <laughs> for the next couple of months so unfortunately I can't have them but um I've had a chocolate lolly from another subscription box that I've put to the side so I'm gonna give it 
to my husband so we love them as well so the information these are Lindor milk truffles indulge with the most comforting Lindor's famous chocolate truffles this winter a perfectly round chocolate shell made with the finest milk chocolate filled with an irresistibly smooth melting filling <laughs> I love it but yeah and a lovely thing to put inside as well not too big but it's nice nice that's our first item second item is a beauty product and this is by Essie Spa Manicure and this is called Manny 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 intensive hand lotion with coriander oil and glycerin and this is 75 mils something that looks like there oh is the camera focusing on it it's an intensive hand lotion that penetrates quickly to moisture dry hands leaves hands soft smooth and supple with no oily residue now i had a look online to see if i could find this anywhere because i hadn't seen this product before and um i've heard of essie nail varnishes and things but i hadn't actually heard of this but um i couldn't find anything and then i went onto like ebay and things like that and i think you can get it for about six seven pound i think but we don't know where the owners of Eve Parcel get their items. I haven't got a clue. I've just had a quick search online. But um, but yeah, at about £6-ish, I think. Oh, the smell is so nice. The smell is so fresh. Oh, I love it. It's like lemons. Citrusy smell. Does it, did I just read out the ingredients? What's it say? Coriander oil. <laughs> so that's our first item. No, it's not. That's our second item. Next, we've got a tea bag, and this is by Pucker, and this is called Love, a heartwarming touch of organic rose, chamomile, and lavender. So that's a tea bag there. So it says here, fill your mug with love, a delicate blend of organic rose, chamomile, elderflower, and lavender to warm and soothe your soul, a delicious tea inspired by love. That sounds quite nice, actually. I don't think I've ever tried anything rose tasting before. I'm not that keen on rose smells, but... Um, but no, I'll give that a go because I do like my herbal teas. So next we've got two of these and I've had them before and I absolutely love them and it's what's making the box smell gorgeous. Now these are Body Shop bath fizzers. One is a bath bubble and the other one is a bath bomb. So we've got a mango bath bomb and we've got a pink grapefruit bath bubble. <laughs> so, these cost £1.50 each. I've had a load of them. Me and my daughter, whenever we go to a body shop, we do stock up on these because we just like them. We love the smell. They're only small, but they are lovely, you know. They're enough to do a bath, which is what you need, but the smell after is so, so nice. But yeah, no, I'm chuffed we got more of these because we don't live near a body shop, unfortunately. So what's it say here? It says, warm your bones with a soak in a cosy, warm bath. Bring on the bubbles with a fun, fragrant bath bomb. It turns your hair into a fresh, juicy treat with an explosion of and the scent of zesty citrus pink grapefruits. Lie back and enjoy. Oh, I wonder if the mango one was an extra then. Doesn't say anything about the mango one. Let me know if you receive Eve's parcel. I'd love to know if you got two of them as well. But um, but no, quite chuffed to those. So next we've got the product that was on the little card, and this is an Artica Cedarwood Ylang Ylang Absinian Multi-Use Body Oil, and this is. 10 mils so it's a body oil there i had a look online and went onto the website and they do a range of products and you can buy them this size for £4.99 so the information says it contains naturally occurring rosmonic acid which promotes skin renewal this multi-use oil protects skin while increasing collagen production abyssinian oil contains fatty acids known for hair and skin regeneration this multi-use oil can be used as a body moisture moisturizer a hydrating hair treatment a, cut a cuticle softening treatment or as a remedy for dry feet a friend of mine recently messaged me and she said that um be careful with oil for me specifically now not for anybody else but um or unless you've got hormone problem problems because apparently rose oil in beauty products even though it's great for the skin it can cause problems with people with hormonal problems now i've got an underactive thyroid and i've got polycystic ovary syndrome so my hormones are they're all over the place sometimes but um so i'm a little bit nervous now so she only messaged me about two nights ago so to, just to tell me because she saw i had a big box full of like rose containing stuff which is lovely but I have to be really careful of what I, I don't want to take anything that is going to play havoc with my hormones basically so if you know anything about that I'd love to know your thoughts please let me know down below but it sounds wonderful it sounds like a really nice multi-purpose type oil and then our last item really got me excited now it's a nail polish pen this is Halle, this is Sally Hansen color quick fast dry nail color pen and it's in shade hot pink <laughs> that's what the outer packaging looks like 
So when I started looking around the internet to see how much it was, to see how much it costs and to see if there's any others out there, because I just think it's an amazing product, you know, a pen, just painting it on your nails. I haven't opened it up yet, so I don't know what the colour's like, but you can see it in there. It doesn't look that hot pink, but um, I'll give it a go and I'll show you on a nail. But um, I couldn't find any information. It seems to be a very old product, maybe about 10 years ago. It won awards in 2010, I think, or I think there was an award um, 2012, but nothing in shops at the moment. Is lo lots of these are for a couple of pounds, like two, three pounds on eBay and Amazon, um, but I can't. there's no specific beauty shop where I can buy it. So if you know of where you can get them please let me know but it's as I said I just did it like a quick search online so if that is right and it's an old product then it makes me think how old is actually this product here and is it okay for me to use but it, it really excited me the only thing I don't like is the actual brush but I haven't tried it yet can you see there it's it's quite whoosh it's not like a nice flattish brush where you can apply where you can get precision sort of you can go right to the corners and everything it looks like it's just a wide wide brush like this so it looks like it could be messy but let's have a go i don't even know what to do shake well with cap on click top of pen to dispense color re-click as needed apply one to two coats right i'm doing this forever it seems to be congregating at the top of the brush but let's give it a go <sighs> <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Ooh, the brush isn't as bad as I thought, to be honest. There you go. That's my nail. <laughs> it's a nice bright pink colour there. The brush isn't as bad as I thought. I thought that it might be a bit too fluffy looking, but no, once the pe once the polish is on it, it seems to be okay. Brighten up these cold days with a quick, convenient manicure on the go. This easy to use pen is so easy to use. <laughs> The formula is nourishing and fast drying, so why not treat yourself to a colourful, vibrant, long-lasting manicure? So those are all the items, so I'm just going to gather them all up. Here we go, so we've got five beauty items in all. I'm not sure if these are classed as one, the little bath bombs there. Plus we've got a body oil, and we've got a hand cream, and we've got the nail varnish. We've got a sweet treat, which is these box of chocolates, and we've got this tea bag here. So those are all the items there. I'm not sure how much they all come to. So you've got about £17 there, maybe, maybe more, a bit less. I haven't got a clue. I don't know, really. I don't know because I found these too hard to find. But um, but yeah, my thoughts are it's a well thought out box. I mean, you've got your sanitary protection anyway. So obviously, you know what you're getting there. The fact that we've got bath items is nice, but not nice if you're actually on your period. I find that a bit bizarre, actually. Only because someone mentioned it in a comment of... Um, a previous beauty subscription box a period subscription box saying would you really want to have a bath and bath bombs if you're heavily on your period i don't know it's more like a shower isn't it but i suppose each to their own but yeah i personally wouldn't i just have showers i suppose but these will be um used regardless anyway so i think the thought behind it is great i think it's really really great and for the box with the pamper stuff and the sanitary protection then it is 12 pound 99 plus 2 pound 95 so you're looking at around a 16 pound box um i think it's a great idea there's not many period beauty subscription boxes out there there's only pink parcel as we know um and betty box for the teens so there's not much competition I think this box, the design is lovely, I like the packaging, I like the thought behind the product, but overall I think it's a little bit too pricey for me. If they drop the price down to say £13-£14, including postage packaging, I think yeah, it'd be a little bit more appealing. I think it's because you've only got Pink Parcel to compare it to. If there was lots of other boxes out there, then it'd be a little bit different, but I can't help but compare it to Pink Parcel, who have been going through a really tough time over the last couple of months, and their boxes haven't been that exciting, haven't come on time etc so if you are looking for a box that has got no problems <laughs> and that is delivered on time it's a little bit more expensive but if you want that guarantee etc then eve's parcel is definitely there but for me i think i'll be sticking to pink parcel for now because especially because i'm still on their original payment plan of 10 pound 50 a box i'd love to know your thoughts what do you think of this month's box is it a box that takes your fancy do you already subscribe to it i'd love to know if you've got the same contents as me so i hope you enjoyed watching if you did it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come so take care and i'll speak to you soon <laughs> bye